Today's show is all about properties with grounds that are as stunning as the homes themselves. We are getting started in beautiful Greenwich, Connecticut at an estate with old world details that will just take your breath away from the moment you enter. Built in the roaring 20s, the stone Tudor style home has an almost overwhelming opulence, especially in the great room. We join the current owner for a closer look at this nearly 16,000 square foot, eight bedroom estate. Hello, my name is Richard and this is Fontine. Welcome to my home in Greenwich, Connecticut called Old Mill Farm. This is one of the original great estates of Greenwich, Connecticut and with its 76 acres, it's the largest. And with over 15,000 square feet in the main house, there's plenty to see. The house was built in 1927. I kept all the original architectural details, including the stonework, the tiles, the stained glass windows, and this beautiful original door. Come follow me inside. This is the great room, which is the first room you see off the main entrance. First thing that draws your attention is the 45 foot ceilings with the exposed wood beams. And as your eye comes down, you see the stained glass windows with all the coats of arms. And then below it, the wood paneling, which is from the 1600s and was imported from England when the structure was first built. But on a cold winter night, the best feature is a very large fireplace. Above the fireplace are brackets, which held the Braveheart sword because the former owner was Mel Gibson. When I have a party, this is where all the action happens. You can have a drink here, or you can gaze down from the gallery and have a good time. Off the great room is the library. And this room is filled with architectural details. The paneling, the fireplace, look at the ceiling. This is all original. This is a real library. This has a thousand books here where you can actually do real research. And if I need a little bit of a distraction, I can look out at the red brick garden or at the chess garden. When it's time to rejoin the guests, let me show you where we have dinner. This is the grand dining room. After all, it is a grand estate and it seats 26. A recurring theme in this house is the old paneling. This is from the 1700s. But as far as I'm concerned, the more amazing feature of this room is the ceiling with its original detailed plaster work. But for more casual events, let me show you where I go. Watch your head as you walk through here. They're a lot shorter in the 1700s. This is the breakfast room where the more informal dining takes place. It's a very bright room and it has original murals which were painted in the 1950s, commissioned by the owner at the time. The kitchen's very versatile. I mean, it's set up to have day-to-day -day meals, or you can have large catered parties. It features a high-end Aga stove and an area specifically designed to prepare food for a large party. And outside this wall of windows is an area you can dine a la fresco. And speaking of outside, it's time I show you the grounds. Come on with me. With 76 acres, I have something for everyone. I have multiple gardens, including a life-size chess set, an English labyrinth with seven-foot hedges, a pool and tennis court, and I forgot to mention a stable. This property is set up for anything, quiet reflection or a large elaborate party. Well, thanks for coming to my home and viewing the property. I hope you've appreciated the architectural details and the spectacular gardens and the magnificent way of living and entertaining here. Thank you for coming.